Welcome back, it's Ian. In this video, we will travel deep in Sweden and temporarily go back in time to experience the old world. A very interesting life history museum which only takes place once a year in the summer for one week and one week only. There are moments I felt like I either traveled to a parallel universe or stumbled upon to a movie set. It's fascinating. Gammelvalla, a Swedish word that means the old world. Situated outside of a town called Arvika, this is a live outdoor museum where visitors can actually experience how Swedish people in the past lived their everyday life and work, using the old machines and the old techniques. And they also serve traditional food and drink, and sell their own products. Now, let me walk you through some of the highlights. In Gamelvala, there are about 30 buildings and they all have full-on activities during this week. Once you walk into this museum, you will first see a street market where they sell their own local products. I will take you back later in this video. Now, let's go straight to the first stop. You see some men in costumes chopping wood. What they're doing is that they are making tar by heating up fat wood, which is what they're chopping up. And they are not actors. They actually have been trained. That goes to all the people doing the demonstrations in this museum, and most of them actually live nearby. Right next to the wood chopping session, there is threshing which is a process of loosening the edible part of grain from the straw attached to it. And that's what they're doing right now, beating the plants to shake the grains loose. I have to say, it's almost therapeutic to see them thrush in rhythm. And, as you can see, Visitors are invited to join and learn from the professionals. Just a few steps over, we are coming to this little station where you see mostly women and children calming something. What are they doing? They are preparing linen to make threads which lead to the making of clothes and other fabrics. And then there it is. It's almost like a centerpiece of this whole life museum. You cannot miss the sight and smell of it. This is called kolmila in Swedish, which means charcoal pile. It's quite complicated to explain, but basically this is how they made charcoal back in the days, by carefully arranging piles of woods, covered by turf or some other layers, and on the inside, a controlled fire is lit in order to make charcoal. Burning charcoal can produce higher heat than burning wood. That's how people back in the days acquired very high temperature to handle metals. And guess what? You can actually buy charcoals made in this charcoal pile right here. It's quite a scene to witness in person. Oh, and the smell too. Just move over a bit, we see how people handle big logs once they got chopped down. In here, they saw the logs into wood planks and other building materials. Again, you can actually try it yourself.
Oh, I see some pans over fire. Aha,、uh-huh, it's something to eat. Well, this is called kol bulla in Swedish. The direct English translation is kol bun, but of course they are not serving you kol. It's some kind of pancake made with fatty salted pork, water, flour, and salt over fire. Most people would usually put jam over it. It was a popular dish for forest workers because it was easy for them to make in the forest. As I walk towards the lake side, I see lots of women and young girls in costume. What are they doing? They are doing laundry, making threads, and preparing fabrics, and dyeing colors from plants. Then there's a huge barn in the middle of this huge outdoor museum. Let's go in and see what they are having inside. Aha!、Uh-huh. It's a market where they sell local handmade products, from clothes, kitchenware, rugs, decorations to jewelry. Now I'm starting to get hungry. As I walk towards the restaurant, I walked by a few other stops like some sort of a paper mill, a pottery house, and a blacksmith forge, where craftsmen fabricate objects out of iron by hot and cold forging on an anvil. All right, it's lunch time, and I've arrived in the cafeteria area. Now, in this museum, they do serve hot dogs and hamburgers, but of course, if you come all the way to Gamlevalla, you want to try their traditional dish, and that's what I'm doing today. Ta-da! This is called nefkret. It's made with custom flour and is traditionally served with lingonberry jam and pork. It's some kind of porridge. Before I try it, let's see how a real Swede likes it. All right, he seems to enjoy it. Now it's my turn. All right. Well, I don't know if I like it or not, but it's certainly very interesting. To me, it tastes like some sort of heated up muesli with added salt and fat. It's definitely worth giving it a try. But again, it was very popular back in the days among forest workers. After lunch, I went back to the street market. And they do have a lot of fresh and high-quality local products to sell.
there is much, much, much more to experience in this museum. And there is live music throughout the day. It's almost like a festival, and it's quite a lot of fun. This live exhibition has been arranged every summer since 1963. I really appreciate the fact that they continue making the old crafts live on and passing the old knowledge to the next generations. I believe that preserving the past knowledge makes us understand ourselves better. Maybe that's why they have such strong identity. And you can see that they are very, very proud. That's all. Until next time. Bye-bye.